Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with Drupal 10. For those who don't know, Drupal is a open source content management system. It is highly customizable, very powerful out of, out of the box, and you can get started with a website in minutes. Um, now we're going to rely on Docker and the Docker wrapper called DDEV, which is written in Golang, and it makes working with PHP projects uh, very easy. Um, now I don't ever remember how to do anything, so don't feel bad if you don't either. So I rely heavily on Google. And I copy and paste instructions all the time. Uh, rather than copying and pasting this whole block, we'll just go through it step by step. But as you can see, we're at the CMS quick starts, Drupal, Drupal 10. You can still go back to Drupal 9, 6, 7. I don't know why you might want to if you have a legacy project. Uh, Backdrop, if you don't know, is a offshoot of Drupal. Um, I think it's split back at Drupal 7. All right, let's go for it. Make der my Drupal 10 site. Then we'll CD my Drupal 10 site. I cheated and didn't copy and paste, but whatever. Now, we just created a DDEV directory with a configuration file. Let's check it out. Tree. Tree.ddev. There is the config file, db build, web build with a couple Docker file examples. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at the config file. At the top, as you can see, very simple. Key value pairs, name, my Drupal site, so on and so forth. I encourage you to um, go ahead and fool around with it and see what happens. Let's get started. DDEV start. Now, it, it, what DDEV is doing is telling Docker to pull... A number of containers from the web but I've already downloaded them so we skip that part now we must create the Drupal project within the DDEV skeleton yes <clears throat> so DDEV is using composer to grab the Drupal project files and whatever dependencies is specified in the composer.json file. I'm just going to prepare for our next paste, which is installing Drush. Drush is, Drush is an indispensable tool when working with Drupal projects. It's um, It makes uh, a lot of the admin tasks and well, pretty much anything to do with the Drupal project much easier to do on the command line. Not to mention you can script it and so on and so forth. DDEV Drush site install. We'll use the admin admin password they have. Now this next line here, DDEV Drush ULI, that will generate a one-time link where you can change your password. Uh, obviously they include that because they don't want you to be to use the default admin password, which you should not, but we're going to skip it for brevity. DDEV launch. And there you have it. It is that simple. We have a fully functional Drupal website. We'll log in with the admin admin password. Don't save. It is the, the website is named Drush Site Install at the moment, so let's change that in the configuration. We can scroll down to some settings somewhere. Basic site settings. My Drupal and site. Save configuration. Back to site, and there it is. You can easily create new content through the menu, content, add content. The default content types are article and basic page. You can create your own content types um, with different fields for different content. 
So we'll go with a basic page title, hello world body. Let's get some content from Lipsum. Lipsum generator. Five paragraphs, why not? We will copy and paste into Drupal. Scroll to the bottom, save, and that's that. We have a new web page on our new website. It's that easy. Um, I encourage you to play around, dig through the documentation and menus, and go ahead and reach out to me if you have any questions, and I'll, I will be happy to answer them. Happy developing.